So we're going to start, but I want you to have, so go ahead and have your strap nearby, but we're just going to start first with the question of the side. So go ahead and just push the legs forward, give them a little shake. <clears throat> And I want you to roll the plushy part in tonight. So we're not, you should still be able to start, build the balance on the sitting bones, but you want to roll it in. And then, so before you get into Pashimachanasana, go ahead and I want you to take the strap and make a little loop with it. So if you're having trouble with making a loop, Alexa. <laughs> And then once you get that loop, I want you to just set the strap to the side. And then you're just going to hang out here for a few breaths. So I feel like you're trying to bring the pinky, the baby toes, in towards the, the hip pointers. Like so? The baby toes. Yeah. So you... Yep. So yeah. So. So you're just trying to push it, yeah. <laughs> so you want to bring your baby toes up? Yeah. And then, uh, oh, yeah. Just active. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But feel like, yeah, you're trying to get that roll down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty made. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> need a small little loop. So we're going to stay here for about a minute or so. And if at any point you need to go back to this one, that's fine. And if you know that you tend to be a, a bit of a, a hyper extender, <clears throat> you want to bend the knees just slightly. So really, yeah, try to, yeah, keep it nice. Focus a bit on just getting some space in the, the backs of the legs. The backs of the legs, right, they represent what's behind us, our relationships with our families, things that we need to let go of. So if the hamstrings tend to get a little bit, if you tend to be a little bit more restricted in the hamstrings, just be mindful <clears throat> that maybe there's something you need to look at that you need to let go of. Okay, with the inhalation, bring it up. And I, everybody, everyone has a blanket, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to sit, and you can make it higher or lower, you can actually sit on two blocks. But I want you to lean forward so like you're tilting off the blanket. Pretend I have this as a bolster. And I want you to take the bolster so it's going, so the long side is parallel to the short side of the mat. And I want you to pull it as tight to the belly as you can. Keep those feet active, and then drop it forward. So it's going to allow a little bit of rounding in the spine. Keep the feet active. So you should be able to drape over the bolster. So get that bolster wedged into the belly. Two blankets goes deeper, I assume. Mm -hmm. Draw those toes back. And see if you can really turn. Yes, nice. Yep. Now just drop it forward. So don't really worry about hanging onto the feet. Focus maybe if anything that you're going to work on letting the forearms come towards the floor. See if you can spread the ten toes. If 
you can't, you can always hang on to the, the calves as well. Keep the toes drawing back towards the shins. Can you draw the toes back a little bit more? notice that the breath is becoming choppy, if there are pauses, go back to removing those four nose of breathing. But what are those again? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to no talk? sound. No sound. No pause. No pause. No, pause. no, jerks. no. no what? Jerks. jerks. No jerks. And you want it, you don't want it shallow like <gasps> No you want it breathing. You want it depth with your breath. So you want to feel like if you want to visualize, you can visualize from the crown to the tailbone and tailbone to the crown, and that will help get rid of the shallow breathing. So as you was fond of saying, don't let your breath disturb others. <laughs> you once said that we shouldn't breathe out, and I was in a class where they were breathing out, and I was kind of like. Yeah. Breathing out through the mouth? Yeah, breathing in through the nose and breathing out. So, only if you're doing certain yoga practices, which we're not. So think of it this way. The mouth was made for eating and talking. Right. Use it for that. The, the nose was made for breathing. Use it for that. Yeah, he was trying to get us relaxed through some other techniques, I don't know what, but he was, I think he doesn't know that much, so he was having <laughs> 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 probably true. <laughs> I've been with you for 10 years, something must have rubbed in, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll correct him next time. <laughs> so get it out through the nose, comes from Swami Ramana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you can stay here or the next part would be where you would take two blocks and I want you to be really mindful here so if you're doing this with the two blocks and you feel like any sort of too much the backs of the knees then I want you to come off the block so you want the blocks the heels on the blocks same thing you get that wedge in there <laughs> and you come Just really at the heels. Yeah. So same thing you want Back. 
So this is, this is going to feel more intense than the first one. So, and we're going to be here for a few breaths. So if it feels like it's too much, back off. You take the heels off the blocks. You know the body that you're traveling in. The body that you're traveling in, you create it with the mind that you have. The body that we have next time will be the same. We've created it once again with the mind that we have. All of the body is in the mind, but not all of the mind is in the body. For karmas that we have to pay. So if a child, right, is born with some sort of debilitating disease, some issue, they've brought that back with their karma, and their karma has created that body. Just like karma creates animal bodies, human bodies, tree bodies, cat bodies. But we must remember the first commitment in yoga is an himsa. So if we see an animal suffering, a human suffering, we never, ever, ever just say, oh, that's your karma. If we can help, we help. Because it is the opportunity to serve that has been placed in front of us. A couple more breaths here. And never deny yourself an opportunity to serve. We must develop compassion. Compassion is that first rung before we can develop love. We must have compassion for all beings, not just the ones that favor us the most. It's easy to like those that are like us. It's easy to make humans more important than animals. God is omnipresent. Now with the inhalation, bring it up. Go ahead and just scoot everything well. Have the, you might want to have a block handy too for this next part. So the first time we're going to go without the strap. <clears throat> So go ahead and just come over to all fours, do five cat and cows, slow, and then I want you to press back to downward facing dog. So when you're in downward facing dog, or when we're in the cat and cows, I really want you to splay the fingers really wide, and you can decide. Unless I mean, if you're having hip or wrist issues in your cat and cow, by all means, make those fists. But either make the pointer fingers or the middle fingers parallel to each other. Once again, you get to figure that out, or maybe try both ways and be like, and you're like, oh yeah, this one suddenly feels much better. If you need more space for the hamstrings, put the hands on the blocks. When you get into downward facing dog, I want you to press, so you're pressing through the balls of the feet, and I want you to lift the ten toes up. So the balls, the heels are down, and you're lifting the ten toes up. And they may or may not get anywhere, but the goal is to really lift, to put some effort, maybe even shut the eyes and imagine that the ten toes are lifted up. Yeah, yeah, I'm 
interesting. <laughs> Can you spread the toes? Nice, right? And if, even if you need to bend the knees to get a little more elongation in the spine, that might help give you a little bit more lift so that you can lift the ten toes. Gone are the days when we could use the toes to grasp things and pick up things and move things. But that ability to make the toes so they have more dexterity is still within us. Unfortunately, we keep them enclosed in shoes and socks most of the time, so they've lost a lot of their mobility. Can you drop the big toe and leave, so both big toes and leave the eight toes up? So nothing may happen. I want you to just, even if nothing's happening, see it in your mind's eye. So now the big toe's down and the eight toes are up. Now can you keep the big toe down and drop the second toe? <laughs> so now you've got four toes down, six toes up. <laughs> now can you bring the next toe down? Maybe they're just, they feel like they're all fused together. We should be able to get movement. We've all seen people who can paint and do these magical things, right, with their toes. They're not the only ones that can do it. We should be able to do it too. Our feet, the health of our feet, the health of our toes, gives us an indication of the health of our organs. Next toe, down. So now at this point, just the, the baby toe should be up. Like I said, even if it's just in the mind. And now all toes down. See if you can get a little more elongation. I'm gonna press you maybe just a bit. Yeah, nice. Nice. Let's go back. Are we having are we able to have that effortless breath? If not, why? What's keeping you from that? That's keeping you from an effortless thing. <laughs> That's actually in part true. <laughs> that will keep you from doing a good twist, that's for sure. Okay, now, so listen closely. So you're gonna drop down to the knees. Like I said, the first time, we're gonna do this without the strap. So enjoy the first time. <laughs> so what you're going to do is, I want you to press through, so all 10 toes are on the floor. Try not to let the feet slide out. So you're trying not to let the feet draw in or drop out. Keep them pulled back, and then I want you to sit on the heels, and then, so then if you need to, mm -hmm. you can paint, you can set on blocks, you can bring the hands to the heart, it doesn't matter. We're just focusing on getting some movement in the feet right now. How do you stand in life? Are you aware of how you stand? Are you aware, do you put weight on the outside, the inside? Do you drop forward, do you pull, pull, pull back? Are you fully grounded? Do you lift up through the arches? Do you stand with your feet out? Do you stand with your feet in? Do you stand with your feet parallel? All these are indicators of what's happening in the mind. The feet are indicators for the how the organs are feeling, so. 
Yeah, because when they give you uh, like pressure in your feet, they massage certain areas according to what organ, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, um, reflexology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now from here, and you might need to put a blanket underneath the feet. I actually like a blanket for this part, just for my the tops of my feet. <clears throat> So then you're going to drop back, and it could be that just sitting on a block or blocks here and just sitting down with the tops of the feet on the floor like this is plenty. That could be enough for you, and you're like, yeah, I don't need any more than this. Perhaps you're like, you know what, I think I, I can do a little more. So maybe you just pull one foot up. You just like that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. right but the, the deal is, you don't want the feet, so when you're here, you don't want the feet turning out to lift up. You want the feet in. Okay. But if I have a block, that kind of separate. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. That's straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, yeah, because we're just trying to get a stretch to the front. And if you've done one and one a couple times, maybe you want to lean back and pull both up. And then go ahead and release. Now this is where we're going to take the strap. So you can go ahead and drop down, <coughs> drop the weight over to the opposite side. Then you're going to place the strap around the ankles. If you have bunions, like I do, you have to give yourself a little bit of space, or maybe you don't. My bunions, just when they touch each other, kind of <laughs> are a little irritating to each other. And don't put this um, buckle on the skin. Put the buckle in the middle of the front or the back. Are they zipped together? What do you mean zipped together? Like your legs? Like to this or like Yes, yeah, you could definitely bring your feet together. Yeah. 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 Squares. yeah. And you have little squares. You and Riley have square feet. <laughs> Otherwise you can put you can have a little bit of space. Okay. And I meant to tell Sue. Yeah, I can tell she was mother just by looking at your her feet. Right? You guys have the same feet. <laughs> Squares, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I did, if somebody just said, look at the feet and identify mother and daughter. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now what you're going to do, so it's that same thing. So you're going to come over and you're going to press through. And maybe you can't even come up this time. Maybe you have to. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. But what's going to happen now is that strap is going to keep you honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That strap is not going to let the heels draw out. It's going to keep the feet parallel to each other. So it should feel a bit more intense now through the toes. Just one. What did you say, Mason? Just one toe. Just one toe. <laughs> <laughs> one toe is enough. Yeah, I figured you indicate the myself for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you found a way. Do you guys not feel like you're making toes? Oh, yeah. you're trying to. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I do this every day. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there I'm going to break go. my toes if I choose to sit on myself. Well, use the, you can use the blocks to... <laughs> I've got my straps so tight, though. I can't be blocked between my feet now. But here <laughs> we are. Yeah. Linda's here, we'd be okay. Yeah, she'll tape you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just my knee. Break my pinky and she'd have tape over my shoulder and down my back and around my neck. Couple more breaths here.
Wie die Pumpe ist verkalten. <lacht> That girl is pretty much doch durch. <lacht> Okay, now you're going to drop down, so you're keeping this track there, tops of the feet. So if you need to separate a little bit so you can put a block there, so now this, now lift up one leg with the strap on it. Do we move the strap? What? No, keep the strap there. Yeah, keep the strap there. You're just dropping to the top of the feet and just lifting one leg. That's all you're doing. It's like, yeah, the bunion, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the other side. So when you're doing this, try not to like lean or do anything, but you're just lifting. Hey, Ray, use your hand to pull up even more. Yeah. And then, I, thought, I thought I was leaning. Am I leaning? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want you to push. So if you go ahead and let's make it so push. She's going to her to her. Oh, there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to push down and then lift up so they're fighting each oh, other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so we're pressing mm -hmm. down and pushing up? Mm -hmm. okay. No, just because she was looking up. So go ahead. Are you feeling this? Yeah. So I want you to, okay, so let's bring this. So let's take this leg okay. down and bring the hands forward. Okay. Put the right here. Okay. Both hands. Yeah. Yeah. And now push down with the legs and push it down. So you're going to get it in the Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Switch it so you're doing the second side. Okay. I was just. Yeah, I was all okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know. What, well, are you like ratting on somebody? No! I was like, no, I So we want to make this a little tighter. Your fear. Okay, so now, yeah. Oh, my. When you're bringing it up, so the ankles are bound together, can you squeeze and bind the thighs together? Can you keep the spine long? And like Phil, you can use blocks or ray to get that lift. So what you're first going to do is I want you to spread the fingers 
and that's going to spread the toes. Then I want you to bring the fingers in, and that's going to squeeze the toes. So you're spreading, and you're squeezing. And really try to get those fingers in there as deep as possible. Now, begin to keep squeezing and draw the toes, the foot out or down. Then when you push the foot back, so I'm just trying to lift you, my foot up so you guys can see. When you push the foot back, spread. <laughs> so you pull it down and squeeze. And then you push it back and spread. Now pick the one that feels like it gets you the most. I want you to stay there. So if it's spreading, you're really spreading. If it's squeezing, you're really squeezing. Take it to that second position. Straight back towards the shin. Yeah, like that. And you will notice differences between the, like we have a different grip with the right hand and left hand. You're going to notice that the feet are different as well, too. We want to create more balance. Okay, now bring, so now just come back to that neutral position. So the hands aren't doing anything now. And then I want you to squeeze the toes on their own accord and then relax them. So they, now the toes, so these are my toes in here. The toes are working on squeezing in and then I release. So when that happens, you should notice the grip with this foot, with the toes on this foot, because the toes on the second foot are going to be different. So squeeze those fingers with the toes. And then release, just do it a few times. But like I said, and when you're doing that, don't bend the big toe. Keep the big toe straight. You want the ankle neutral? Yeah, the ankle's neutral. Mm -hmm. So now squeeze it one more time with the toe. Squeeze as much as you can squeeze. So this is as much as you can now. Now, now you can add a little more squeeze because you're stronger. Squeeze it. Now relax the toes, and then I want you to just, so, but when I say relax, you're not just letting them go completely limp. Keep them a little bit tight, but pull, and then pull the toes out, or the fingers out. Don't let that foot go yet. <laughs> then take each fingertip and place it in between the toes. So you're down in the toes now, and I want you to press in with those fingertips. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> got a foot fetish. I'm glad I trimmed my fingernails. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm not even going to switch to use the tips. But get in there and press with those <laughs> fingertips. <laughs> press. Now just quickly put that foot out and wiggle the toes a little bit and notice any differences between the two feet now. It should feel like it has a little more air, a little prana in it now, like some stuff's flowing there happening. And it'll be interesting just to notice how you stand later. Second leg bends. Second leg bends. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then we start the same thing. So it doesn't really matter how you hold, just get those fingers in there. And then the same thing. So you're going to first start, the first few times, you're just going to spread the fingers and squeeze the fingers, spread and squeeze. And then after you've done that a few times, that's when you bend or you draw the foot forward and you take it back. notice any differences between maybe you can't get as deep on this side as you could on the other side maybe you go in deeper with the fingers maybe it feels more comfortable maybe it feels less comfortable we want to know the body not to become attached to the body but so that we can work with the body, so that the body is not an obstacle for us. The body and mind are incredible. How fast, everything, it can just completely compensate for an injury. But then it can create issues later on. So we want to, we want to know the body just for the fact of understanding it. The way we move, the way we stand, these are all things that we brought with us from previous lifetimes. Nothing's new. We work it out, or we're going to be bringing it back the next time. Are you heavy with your steps? Are you light with your steps? How do you move? Right? Do we walk where we're all grounded and disconnected from the heart? Do we walk slow, like we just, we just don't care? Do you move with purpose? How do you move? Get some insights. Now pick it whichever side you want to, or whichever position you want to be in, either the spread toes or the squeezing the toes, and we're going to stay here for a couple breaths. We are here to be a different person when we believe. That's how we make the world a better place for us being here. What a gift we have been given. To be given a human birth. Look how many life forms are here on planet Earth. And we got to be human? My goodness. Do something with it. Switch it to the second position. Don't squander it. And don't leave the world the same way you came in, holding on to those same petty things that we hold on to. Holding on to those same things which agitate us. If you don't work it out now, you're going to work it out later. And if you have to work it out later, just like a credit card, you have to pay interest. That's just the way it works. Because karma is just and righteous. Everything in this world is just and righteous. There is nothing that is happening to you, that has happened to you, that will happen to you, that is happening on earth, that has happened, that will happen, that is not ordained by providence. We're not here to judge it. We're here to recognize it's karma. It's our karma individually, it's our collective karma. Okay, back to neutral, and now you're going to squeeze the toes, try not to bend the big toe and relax them. Notice the differences between the grip here. Which grip is stronger, your right or left foot?
Does that face well? <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at my little Okay, now you're going to relax them just a little bit, but they still have that grip, and then you're going to pull the fingers away. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So pull the foot forward. Yeah, yeah, so you're... And then pull the fingers away. And then we take the fingers and get them in between. And really press down. Fingertips right in the right in the middle of the toes, and you're pressing down those fingertips. So if we leave with the same anger that we came in with, or if we leave with the same victim mentality that we came in with, what have we done? What have we done to better the earth? What have we done to better ourselves? If we leave the same way, actually we we have just accumulated more. We've done nothing. And when one of us moves forward, all of us move forward. Because we're all connected. Just like my, I can't take my right side outside without taking my left side with me. We are all manifested from God. Go ahead, push the legs, give them a little <coughs> shake, then draw the knees back, come over to all fours, do five cat cows, press back to downward facing dog, and let's go back to what we started with, so you're pressing the balls of the feet down and you're lifting the toes up. And when you lift the toes up, Notice, do you want to drop to the outside if you want to drop to the inside? See if you can balance evenly on the four corners of the feet. So it's the inside line of the front ball of the foot, the outside line, and then the heels, inside and outside of the heels. Can you spread the toes when you're there? same thing you don't have to do any of this so you'll go ahead and you will release the right foot so take the right foot so the toes can rest you're going to keep the left toes up now you're going to lift the right leg up so keep the left toes up if you can bring the left hand back so you can hook the right whatever you can hook shin ankle toes this is going to require some balance so if you're really, really shaky, be mindful we're pretty close to each other, Master. But I want you to keep those toes up. Keep the left toes up if you can. If you can't, that's okay. You were really close. Do you want me to help? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You got this. There you go. Nice. You can lean into me if you need to. Nice. Nice. Balance comes from within. <laughs> nice, Ruthie. Mm. A little better on the side. Yeah. 
you. Very nice. Well done. Release one more time on each side. Okay. Now we're doing some muscle memory here. Back to the first side. Remember, it doesn't matter if we clean one speck of dirt from our altar in this lifetime, we've cleaned one speck of dirt instead of adding another layer. Then God will welcome us back. You are working. Go, go, go back. Go and finish your job. Switch sides. We're not guaranteed a human existence. Alexa, you stayed up this time. I did. Uh, <laughs> That's progress. <laughs> Come back to all fours. This time, so let's just do something, because we haven't really touched on the upper body too much tonight. So I want you to drop down to the left forearm. Come up really high to the right fingertips. Slide the right fingertips forward. So I want you really high so that if we have a little mouse in there, or a little, some sort of dessert, it wouldn't get smashed. <laughs> Two totally similar things. <laughs> Mice like desserts. <laughs> <laughs> so you come up and you slide it forward, and then lean to the right. So slide that right arm forward, really high on those fingertips, and lean to the right to the side with the arm that's out. You should start to feel this in the arm here. Really high on the fingertips. And you come up a little higher though. There you go, nice. Switch sides. Same thing, notice any differences between the two sides. We have a couple of options here for the twist. So first option, you can just squeeze the legs together, perfectly fine. Otherwise, you can wrap the right leg around. So then you're squeezing the legs together. If you know that you tend to be a little bit restricted twisting, then go ahead and use a block. First, second, third level. Third level will make it easiest. Right hand is going to come in the middle, and you're going to bring the left arm up. Obviously, you don't need Can you squeeze the thighs together? Gaze can be down, straight ahead, or up. Put a little more shock in there. Yeah.
switch arms. Legs stay there, just switch the arms. Your gout. <laughs> okay, come back through center, tops of the feet or bottom or the balls of the feet you decide. Then if you can, come up so you're standing. Bring your right arm under. And if you find that, oh, it's pretty easy with the balls of the feet, then come to the tops of the feet or switch it. So whatever your first position that you naturally went to, switch it to change it a little bit. So if you're on the balls, go to the tops. If you're on the tops, go to the balls. Couple more breaths. Remember, you don't even have to have the legs wrapped. Ms. Conway is doing it perfectly fine with the legs squeezing into each other. And switch. Arms and legs. just weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I think I offered that. Yeah, arms and legs. Both. Or both. <laughs> switch sides. And start that twist. So this time left hand is first. Line the left hand up in the middle of the mat. Block if you need it. And you're going to notice differences between the two sides too. If you need that space, use a block. Switch arms. 